All right, today I've got a really simple project. We're going to make an adapter slash extender for unbalanced audio. Uh, today I'm just going to use the standard RCA style connector and I'm going to adapt this to run over UTP uh, using this mod plug. You can use whatever UTP you have, but I'm using uh, Cat5e for this. It really doesn't matter. I don't need this to be this long, so we're just going to cut it short. Let's cut this off here. Alright, now most of these wires are the same kind of construction. They have some kind of shield drain wire around the outside and then a center conductor the audio actually travels on. Um, sometimes they're not that good, but... This doesn't have a solid shield, it just has wire, kind of in the shield area. <laughs> so that's perfect, it'll work great like that. We're just going to straighten it out like this. Alright, we're going to do this four times to get all four of these. We have four channels over our one UTP. Gonna take this shield wire and twist it around. Getting that rigid as possible is kind of critical for this to work. I've had really good experience getting these to fit in here without any other kind of modifications, but I'm just going to test it to see how our wire size will, f if it'll fit in that hole or not. And it does, it fits perfectly. So that's really good. Alright, so now, there aren't too many things that are super critical about doing this to get it to work right, but one thing is very important. UTP pinouts uh, have the pairs in a specific order and in order for this to work well they have to remain in that order you can't bypass that so this would be in a normal application this would be the orange pair so I'm going to use the and whites for the negative side or the shield and then the solids for the center conductor. So I'm going to put this in the orange and orange and white pair. So that first set right there. See how, because I made that rigid, it slides right in. So I've got my orange and orange and white right there. Alright, this one's going to be a little tricky because this is green and green and white. Green and green and white are not next to each other. They surround the blue pair. So I'm going to do both the blue pair, which will be this guy, and the green pair at the same time, just because it's a little easier. Okay, so this is my blue pair, blue and blue and white, and it goes this way, green and green and white, and it goes this way. It takes a little trial and error sometimes to get these in there. Count the right number of spaces to get it in the right holes. And that's giving me a little trouble. I don't know if you can see it on camera very well. I'll hold it as close as I can. I skipped 
one space, which will be for green and white, which is the shield of this black. Uh, I'm going to strip this one back a little farther, actually. Give myself a little more room to navigate that. edges to make sure they have a nice crisp edge. Alright, now I'm going to separate these quite far. Let's see if I can straddle this. I might need a screwdriver to help me get that in there straight. Actually let's do the let's do this one first. This one's pretty easy. Relatively. This so will represent our brown and brown and white. Brown and brown and white, right there. going on here. Alright, now we're just going to feed this in and again we're straddling. This is the hardest one. Alright, like that. I slide right into the pins. Uh, the center's giving me a little grief here. Alright, so what we can check. Just want to make sure these connectors are going all the way to the end. And I have these cut exactly to length to make sure that they reach. Okay, so that's very important. You can also tell by looking down the end. My yellow is not all the way in there for that green that green conductor. It's not quite all the way in there. That one is, but the green one is not, so Cut a little too much off when I did this. A little overzealous. I do want to trim this one a little bit so that the end is a little more crisp. Alright. Gotta quit moving these around. Stick them all back in. So, get those three. I get my fourth channel in here. Oh man. <laughs> I just noticed what I did. I forgot to put this thing on. Alright, well, I'll start over. These are pretty easy. I'll do these all over. Alright, now that you have the boot on there, if you do want to use a boot, otherwise just ignore what I did and just keep going. Okay, brown and white pear, piece of cake, orange and white pear, done, blue, which is backwards from everything else. Up the center two pins like so. Okay, those are in there real good, and now we're gonna do this one again, the hard one. 
Green and white, green. Go in there. Am I hitting the end? I might be. Touching the end here. So now we're ready to crimp this. Standard crimper. Nothing different about this. Correct order. Just like that. One thing to note, these are designed for solid or stranded wire. It helps to have the stranded wire kind, though it's not essential. I've done it with both types. Um, the connector fits really well, it holds on. Um, it's a really solid way to do this. So now I'm going to have four audio channels I can run over UTP. Um, let me pull my boot up here, it'll look nicer. One thing to note is that unbalanced audio, which this is, has a limitation of about 12 feet. You can probably run it farther, but if you try to run it farther you may experience some interference, um, some noise between the channels. I don't recommend running this too far. You can run balanced audio over UTP for thousands of feet, no problem, but unbalanced should probably keep it as short as possible. Alright, so there's the finished product. I have four channels of audio running over this, and if you want to split it back out on the other side, you just make another one of these. You can also put different ends on these. These happen to have four RCAs, because that's what I need for this application, but you can use uh, minis or whatever type of audio connector you want, as long as you follow the pinout, you can split this back out, and this becomes an adapter then. Alright, thanks for watching, and uh, go enjoy running audio over UTP.